everyone and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lv luxury on today i have some q a's i am going to discuss and then we have to talk about what's going on with the latest drops from lv yeah <laughs> before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on instagram at marquita lv luxury you can also email me, marquitalvluxury at gmail.com if you want me to review a specific bag. As long as I have it in my collection, I'll be sure to try to get that video up for you. Now that we got all of that, guys, out the way, you know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine, grab some tea, and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Your girl got the tea, so now let's talk LV. We are going to go over these latest drops that LV is dropping. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with LV. And then we are going to move over to the Q&A um, that I have been getting emailed and sent via DM on Instagram. But I want to go over the patent leather, the Vernie leather drops that LV is doing guys i have no issues i have no issues with it i do actually have the new mini pochettes right let me show you i have the mini pochettes and the bernie leather they are here but lv come on now the different colors come on now lv i mean we need to see some canvas we need to see some more reverse monogram. Like, what is going on? I'm telling you, I most definitely need to see a change. I need to see a change. I do have actually one piece. One piece like this. I've never worn this. I do not. I don't even know what bag to attach this to. At this time, um, my husband, I showed my husband. He know I was a pink, he know I'm a pink lover. He know I'm a pink fan. And he actually purchased this for me. And of course it was around, I think the end of January, Valentine's Day. And I'm not going to say no. He wants to purchase something for me. I'm most definitely going to let him. <laughs> but guys, come on, LB. We we need so we need classy. We do. We're women. We need classy bags. The men collection, always, always banging. But come on. I mean. We need a reverse monogram in the mini pochette. What is going on with that? I really, really, really do not understand. They're coming out with all of these different colors. Which, what bags? I mean, what bags? Even the Ammo BB in the Bernie Leather. Beautiful, beautiful bags. Beautiful bags. We can even pair these mini pochettes with those bags. Matter of fact, let me show you the Bernie leather ammo BBs that I have in my collection. See, these bags are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I most definitely can find something in my closet to rock these bags with. So gorgeous, as you can see. Okay, but then again, you have them coming out with items, colors like this to match up i mean what bags are we going to match up with these items like i really really do have a big problem with that even these zippy coin purse we need reverse monogram i mean you could have even came out with another demir azura uh, demiri bean some type of other zippy wallet but the, these Bernie Leather, these, these colors, I understand we are going into January, Valentine's Day. But, I mean, come on, LV. Where are the classy pieces? I am, I am missing that. I mean, as I am getting more and more into the luxury brands of handbags, I most definitely am going um, towards canvas bags a lot more. I do love my Unfront Leather. I believe the Never Full MM in the black was the best thing LV ever came out with. The Never Full MM, the black unprompt leather, most definitely. 
is one of the hottest bags and if you do not have it in your collection you most definitely are missing out but if we are speaking on classy handbags right now lv most definitely need to step their game up even the bag charm the key charm here the bag charm and I'm guessing it's just that seasonal time. Like I said, it's, it's headed into Valentine's Day. Maybe that's what this is for. But I would I would believe that the creative team would invest into items that actually stay around longer and that we want, that we need, that we can wear every day. I can't wear this every day. I can't hook this on a bag every day. I just, I, I can't. So I'm just like, come on, LB. Just say, hey, Erecto card holder. You can put this <laughs> with the Elma. Like I say, it's not the material. I'm, I'm okay with the material. Hey, Bernie Leather, if that's what LB wants to concentrate on, if that's what you guys want to drop, but come out with better colors. Come out with better colors. Um, colors that we can wear every day. I would love to see a beautiful black Emma BB any burning leather like this. That would be so hot. Come out with a black one like this. I mean, come on, LV. I just had to bring it to you guys' attention. And if you guys are going to pre-order, I'm only speaking. This is my opinion. Um, if you go out and order, some of you guys do love the bright colors. I do read some of the comments, but if you do like, you know, the Bernie leather in these type of colors, the blue, the pink, that's totally fine. As for me, I will not invest any more money. I'm not even going to let my husband do it. <laughs> invest any more money into products that I'm not going to wear. I'm not. Um, I actually saw my daughter pick this up and she had it on her belt loop. She put it on. She had a white shirt on, just some jeans, and she did wear it. She came back, put it back in, and she was like, yeah, you know, some of the kids thought it was very, very cute. I can see that happening. I can see that happening, adding to your belt loop and using it as just a cash holder, um, anything like that, coin holder for the day. But as far as putting it on any of my bags and just wearing it every day, I don't see that happening. And I haven't even worn this yet. So good thing my daughter had it on. But guys, come on, let me know how you feel. I believe LV needs to most definitely concentrate more on bringing out more canvas bags. I mean, do you want your business to grow? I'm just saying, like, come on now. Come on, LV. And this new item here. This new item here. Okay, so my issue with LV, because I most definitely wrote this down myself because I'm trying to figure out the pros and cons on this item. I love it. This is the Odeon Tote. It's going to come out in the PM size and the MM size. If you guys looked at a video that I've shown, I did an unboxing on the Odeon. I believe it was the Odeon MM in the Demir Ebene print. I did return it. I returned it because of the black leather. LB, why did you change up? The Demir Bean goes with dark brown. Keep the dark brown leather. Why did you change it to black? This is beautiful. I would have most definitely wanted this item. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, LB, why change up what's working? So this right here most definitely would have been on a purchase, guaranteed purchase list. Beautiful. This is my type of bag. Beautiful tote. I would have most definitely purchased probably the PM size in this. I would say the MM probably would have been a, a tad bit big. I'm not sure. You never know until they're released. But why change it? They should have stayed with the dark brown leather instead of changing the Demiri Bean with the black. So it's like, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, how do you feel? How do you feel about this bag? I believe it's gorgeous. It's unique. It's what I'm looking for. But I love Demiri Bean with the brown, dark brown leather. 
I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. So guys, let me know how you feel about these recent releases. I mean, the denim collection, I am for it. I am ready. I am for it. I am even looking at the micro crochet at them at this moment. I just feel like this collection is not going to last. It's not going to be here. And I, I believe it's going to sell out very fast. If you do not pre-order, I do not see you getting any of these items. It's not going to be like the Speedy 20 to where you can go into the LV Boutique, see it on the counter. Because I did here in Houston Galleria, I saw the Speedy 20. Um, and the SA actually reached out to me as well. I already had the Speedy 20 from my CA. This is not going to be like this. You're not going to go in and find the uh, Monogram Nano Speedy in the Boutique. You're not going to go and find the, the pink denim, nano speedy in the boutique, the micro pochette in denim. You're not going to find that. The denim in blue, I'm hearing that it's only going to be a China release. So guys, these items are going to be very limited. Limited edition, you need to have a CA on it because you're not going to be able to go into a boutique or order these on the website. I do, I do not believe that. So I am all game for the denim collection. I am ready. I am excited right now. I'm just torn between the Speedy 25 and the On The Go Tote. M -M. I'm torn between those two bags. I don't need both. I am torn between those two. And it's kind of leaning towards the Speedy 25 because On The Go Tote bags are so heavy, but I just love the structure and I love how, I love the outer appearance. I love the shape of the On The Go Tote M -M. So guys, if you already pre-ordered, let me know in the comments. This is for the denim, for the denim collection. Now, this new collection with this vernis leather, the, this different color, the pink, the blue, the mini pochette, the bag charm. If you guys are interested in any of those things, let me know in the comments. Um, what's your reason for it? What's your reason for it? And I'm not, I'm not saying there's something wrong. I just want to know, is it just a seasonal thing? I mean, is this your thing? Is this the colors? I'm just saying LV needs to release items where we can carry every day. Classy bags. I mean, come out with another backpack. Come out with something. I mean, LV, just come on. Come on. I am most definitely needing some more reverse monogram items. I really am. I'm needing a reverse monogram in the never full MM. I'll even take a GM. You did the on the go tote. I am needing more SLGs in the reverse monogram, like the mini pochette. Please, it'll be something. Just think about an Elmo BB in the reverse monogram. I mean, I mean, yeah. <sighs> okay. I've been to it, guys. Let me know in the comments how you feel. Am I wrong? I'm just being honest with you guys. And like I said, if you are purchasing any of these items, I do not have an issue with the material. The Bernie leather, I do not. It's the colors that are coming out. Like I said, it can be seasonal because of Valentine's Day. But let me know in the comments, guys. Let's move on to these Q&As. Um because I want to wrap a lot of things up now that we are going into the new year. So just keep sipping guys, we're almost done. The first question. Hey Marquita, I know you are in love with LV, but are you going to try another luxury brand in 2022? Okay guys, in 2021, I tried another luxury brand. I did make a purchase for my birthday from Dior. I also uh, shop at Fendi. I do love other brands, but my favorite brand as of right now is LV. I love LV. I love their bags. I love their canvas bags. I just love LV bags. They're so beautiful. A variety of different prints um, and reverse monogram. I'm like stuck on that. I'm stuck on that. So I do love um, other luxury brands, but my top most definitely is LV. So I did try Dior and I have tried Gucci as well and Fendi. I have tried. And I have some Dolce & Gabbana shoes. 
um, and a Dolce & Gabbana bag. So yes, I have dibbled and dabbled into other luxury brands. And as of right now, I have my eyes on a YSL bag. I do. I do. Um, it's kind of been catching my eye lately. I've been sitting on Instagram. Uh, even when we went to the gallery, I went into the YSL store. I picked up. I tried on. And I'm like, oh, no. God, I can't get it out of my head. I can't get it out of my head. So I'm most definitely thinking about taking a little leap, a little jump to try YSL as well. So like I said, if I don't like it, I most definitely can return. So that's a hint, guys. I do have my eye on YSL. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Do you think you will purchase as many LV bags in 2022 as you purchased in 2021? I don't know. I don't know. Me, I try to live for today. I try to live for today. If I see a pre-order, if it's something that I like, I am going to get it. No hesitation. I'm, I'm going to get it. I work too hard. I work too hard every day. I work too hard every day not to get what I want. My kids are taken care of. My family. I invest properties, land. Um, If I have the money... And I want to get it, guys. I'm going to get it. And if I don't like it, I'm not going. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. But if it's something that I see, an outfit in my bag or some shoes, I'm living for it today. I cannot take my money with me. I, I, I invest. I make. I also I make smart moves, guys. I am a businesswoman first. On top of everything, I will make sure my money is recycling and coming in every day from everywhere. But if it's something that I like, I am going to get it. I am. I'm going to get it. So I can't say if I'm going to purchase the same amount that I have been purchasing in the past. I have slowed down because I haven't seen any bags that I'm just loving out there that LV is producing. But um, guys, I if I see something I like, I'm going to get it. I work hard. Just like I, I work hard to pay my bills, <laughs> I'm going to work hard and I'm going to pay myself as well, okay? Okay, next question. Has your daughter fell in love with LV yet? Yes and no. She's still into that, that stage now. She did wear one of my, um, she wore my LV jacket. Uh, during the, For the Christmas, she had to dress up every day. And so she had to snuggle up she had to wear as many coats of bags. It was something that she had for her school, but she had to have a lot of items on. Um, it was a winter theme. And so she did, she wore my LV scarf and she had on multiple jackets. And at the end, she put on my black, uh, my black LV jacket. And she was like, mom, I think I'm doing too much. I don't want to go to school like this. I don't want them to say, you know, that I'm trying to show off. So, guys, I'm trying to talk to her um, a little bit about it. She's trying to shy away from it. She doesn't want to wear it. She doesn't want to feel like she's showing off. Um, and like I said, I just have to kind of talk to her because she feels like she shouldn't or she doesn't deserve to wear it when other people at her school don't have it. So, I do have to talk to her and I do understand. I'm glad that she's humble like that. I really, I really am. But um, it's okay for you to be out. It's okay for you to wear luxury th things. It's okay for you to dress nice. It's okay for you to have certain things. It's okay. It's okay. You know, and we do hear that a lot, a lot as adults. Like, we shouldn't have to downgrade ourselves to stay on the same level with other people. We shouldn't. We shouldn't at all. That's even with friendships, guys. If our friends are not growing, if everything is always negative, if they're always having issues, sooner or later, you're going to have those same problems. So it's okay to upgrade. It's okay to want to be better. It's okay to want to wear nice things. And so I have to instill that in her because you just because they don't have it, that don't mean you shouldn't have it. Okay? So guys, you guys need to think that way as well. And that's how I think because I mentally mentally beat myself up 
with having some of my things that I do have, but then I got to say, hey, I do work hard. I get up at 4.30 in the morning and I don't go to sleep sometime at 2 in the morning. Sometimes I'm working off two hours of sleep. I work hard for the things I have. And so I have to let her know that as well because she works within my business too. And so just like I pay myself, I pay my kids and whatever she wants to buy with it, I teach her how to save and whatever she wants, she, she pays for it, she gets. Okay, so the next question is, am I going to start a YouTube business channel? Guys, I have been contemplating it's it's just my time it's just my time yes i do want to because i feel like it's so much i can teach you guys and i love teaching i love teaching i love talking i can talk business all day guys believe it or not my phone does not ring unless it's business for me i feel like hey work hard now play later i can play later I can go on all these fancy trips. I can stay in these nice hotels, but I have to see that money rolling in. I have to make sure these investments and I'm getting a return on investments. Everything has to be set in stone. Everything has to be like clockwork in my life. And once I get to that point, I'm okay. I told my husband, I told my husband, I want to retire at the age of 40. I am 38 now. At the age of 40, I want to be done. I want my businesses to be able to operate without me having to be there all the time. So guys, um, I, I really do want to start that YouTube channel, but I know it's going to consist of, of more time coming out of my life. And I'm, I'm very, very, I'm already tired as it is. And so um, I didn't even know this was going to turn into a business. I just wanted to be on here and tell you guys and show you guys and just, get away from work and just enjoy talking to you guys about my bags. And this happened in three weeks. I was monetized with YouTube in three weeks, guys. So you just never know where God is going to take you. Just count your blessings and, and be okay with it. Accept them and, and be okay. That's all you can do. And so, like I said, it is a blessing. I have met some awesome people, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My upstairs room that I'm converting, that is that actually was supposed to be a business area to where I do set up my business YouTube. I'm still thinking about it, guys, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Okay, so the last question, because I was sent over 150. So the last question, let me see, because I was torn between three. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we are going to go with this one. So, <laughs> the last question. Will I sell any of my LV bags? Okay, guys. Um, I said that I would never sell. Everything is for my daughter. As of right now, I see some bags my daughter most definitely is not going for. She's not going for. Um, I do have some bags in my collection. I said the new year, I probably will set those bags to the side and get them on a website. I don't want to send them to a consignment. I don't want to send them anywhere because I, I believe they go up on the price. Um, these bags, I probably just put them on my website, put them on Instagram, put a price on them. You can pay via PayPal. Um, I just have to go through and see which bags. Like I said, I have some bags that's not even accounted for because they're not here. I have bags passed out everywhere to sisters, friends, <laughs> um, even my SLGs, guys. I said I had 154. I still have some bags that's out that's not accounted for. So I'm really, really going to try to concentrate on that more and move some of these bags out so I can bring other bags in. Because like I said, guys, this the YSL collection, the quality... When I put that bag on, the quality, I mean, very, very soft. Very soft, beautiful, classy. And like I said, as I'm getting older, guys, that's what I want. That's what I want. I don't want all these outrageous colors. I want to dress nice, be in my sexy dress or my jeans, white tee. I mean, button-down shirt. And I want to have a nice luxury bag on my side. Not all of these 
hazy colors um which is nothing wrong with it guys like i said this is just me talking but like i said i really really think lv need to get up on their game as far as releasing more canvas bags and um that black on front if they can come out with some more designs because that that never full is good job good job lb but um yes in 2022 i might have a closet clean out even some of my clothes guys i'm loaded what you see in here is only half i have another closet that's attached to this closet that's full of clothes my husband has over 300 pairs of shoes. Yes. So we do love to dress. We love fashion over here. I really, really love fashion. If you guys didn't know, I did have a boutique um, in the past. And I am thinking about opening my boutique again. I just love clothes. I love to dress. I love to match. That's just in me. I love it. Okay. So guys, that was the five Q&A's. Let me know about these pre-orders, about these new LV lunches. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Hey, I don't know. I'm just telling you how I feel. I just feel like they need to come out with more classy items. Let me know in the comments how you feel about everything, guys. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy holidays. Bye-bye.